So is this where I am in life at this point in time? Where the internet has caused me grief, guy. Like seriously, even this device right here, this, my cell phone, my smartphone is more, dude, it's, it's a brick. It's a paperweight. It's a paperweight right now. Why? Because I don't have internet service at the house. So anybody that's placed any orders to the merch shop, sorry guy, your orders can't go out. Like for the past few days, dude, forget about it, man. Your cell phone becomes a brick. If you're reliant on internet in your home. So what's the next best thing that I could do? Go ahead and install the, uh, the Arma fix for the Big Rock. So this is the, uh, motor mod that came out of my Outcast V2. The original. You know, the, the real Outcast. I'm not saying that. I'm only joking. The other Outcast V2.5 looks absolutely incredible. Uh, same thing probably with the, uh, the other thing there, the Creighton. I'm sure that both of those vehicles are actually great. But we're not talking about that, dude. We're here talking about this mount right here which is the fix at least i feel like from the experience that i had with my outcast and the experience that i've had with my big rock that this really truly will be the fix to fixing my gears fixing like all those issues so let's dive into it so if you're interested in seeing this episode of rc guy garage working on you know the big rock let's uh let's check it out let's check it out all right so <laughs> So we've got the um, outcast. We've got the big rock on deck right now. I am gonna, all this is, is basically installing this motor mount, which I, again, I just reiterate, this is really the fix. I took the M2C motor mount, I don't even know where the thing is anymore. Anyways, my outcast got the M2C mount that was originally designed for this. So, and it worked. Little kind of slight alignment issues, which may have been, I want to say, production issues from m2c because that motor mount was original so you don't see a battery pack sitting here number one we'll edit that out no we won't taking this motor mount out got to remove that screw right there want to go ahead and remove that red thing there so you just basically pull on the strap i was here earlier with this thing obviously uh doing some work on it so you want to get the drive shaft out of the way pull that out Get out of there to get that drive shaft out of there remove these two things just kind of keep these away you could disconnect the whole motor and all that stuff i'm not sure if that's the route i'm gonna go i might you want to pull up on this tab right here as you kind of work the motor like side to side kind of shift it and then that should release once you've got that released just to make this easy I am gonna go ahead and unplug the motor wires just to make it easy for myself just to handle this module. Gotta take out these three screws. One, two, three. It would be nice if I had that metal support that's on the L-cast on this, but I don't. But one, two, three, we'll pop those out. Once we got those out, we can pop this case. We wanna kinda of keep that in place might not allow me there we go so i will have to check my bearings while i'm here bearing feels all right but i think it's gonna need some stuff here so you could definitely see yeah look at that so we're gonna end up hurting this spur uh it's fine this is the um slipper clutch i probably while i've got this out i should probably clean this oh what was that i should probably kind of clean this does feel good though clean these bearings but if i left that the way it was it would destroy this is a brand new gear it would destroy this brand new gear i do have a metal one to put in but i'm not going to do it so i gotta pop out that screw i'm going to take out these because we need to get this pinion out of here pop this out what the hell this is actually stuck in there there we go and then you need a smaller driver to get after that. So I'll take a small driver and pop this out. Pop out the motor mount. I want to show you. You can see it. Wow, you can see that that's bent bad right there. So that, this is going to fix that issue that we've got right there. See, this is what happens. 
is it bends right at where the screws are because it tugs on the motor. Especially when you get those front end impacts, this is gonna be the fix for that. So you gotta take this, slap it on this side, take that little screw, we'll put that back in there, give it a nice light crank, take the gear. I know I said that I was gonna clean bearings, but nah. <laughs> nah, guy! So we got that in there, reinstall, oh. The pinion, another difference that I just noticed. So that's where they're getting a lot of the strength from. Look at the hole size. So this is with the two units lined up. See what I'm saying? So what they did is they decreased the hole size, which gave it more material strength. So that's why the revision is better than the original uh, BLX piece of garbage. This is the upgraded, upgraded version from the 4S. So all that means is I'm going to have to pop this out and I am going to use some fire just because I don't want to have an issue. So light that up. It should be enough. Open. Get in there and yeah, mint. So that should be enough to pop that out. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man, because that's gonna be on fire. It's not that bad, but yeah, perfect time or opportunity to check. Uh, still feels all right. This is one of the motors that replaced this pinion side bearing, and that still feels great. So now we can go ahead and install the motor back into place. So I will use, oh, nice and easy, get that screw lined up in there. Okay, I just wanted it enough so I can still kind of move the motor in place on there because when I put the pinion on here, got to get the pinion right there, I'll get that pinion, line that up, ooh, boy, that thing is hot. Slide that kind of into place. I'm going to take the gear, put it in place, semi uh, do my mesh, but I want to put that gear so it aligns uh, better. So, looking at that, looks pretty dang good. So, I've got a little bit of reveal on the top, a little reveal on the bottom. Now, it's just about setting the mesh. I do my mesh a little bit different. So don't go by how I do it. You do, you do you. So I'm going to kind of tighten these screws up just a touch. Then when I throw this cover on, I should probably kind of clean out this a little bit. When I throw this cover on, that's going to give me the better uh, feeling for the mesh. So that's down. Sounds good. Little. Good. Good. That's how I like to have my mesh. So you you do what you got to do for yourself. This is how I'm going to handle the mesh for me. So now, this is the tough part. Because of the way that gear is, that gear, it's really hard to... And that's where I think the new case has a hole or something. So it might be beneficial is to actually put a hole in that. So, see what I'm saying? Like, you can't get to it. I think on the new one, there's a hole, like, right there. See how, like, on the motor mount? If I take that out, I could pull it out of the unit. I know this mesh is where I want it, so I'm going to give that a tighten, and then give that a tighten. And that way, this should be where I want it to be. This is, like, a whole stupid, like, process. Go ahead and stick this back in, making sure the mesh is still good. Still sounds good to me. Then I can go ahead and pop that screw. This is such a stupid process. Pop that, pop that, pop that cover out. Then take the driver 
and give it a good crank like that that shouldn't go anywhere and yes I know but the Loctite is whatever Loctite's fine put this back in the place put this screw back in put this back on make sure that meshes down in there put these screws back in and then I'll just do an additional little hand crank perfect clean this out I'll get this module back into place here leave the wires to last so get this to go in here get a little bit of roll sometimes that's what you need so get the gear to mesh there we go clicked right in I'll hook up the wires after take my little red thing here this is what I messed up with the last time get this little red thing to slot back into place just like that beautiful chassis lock screw back into place we'll go ahead and we'll put this piece in here with its little cover piece drive shaft make sure the drive shaft splines into that front slide the drive shaft back collapsed slide the bearing down into its little pocket give it a little shift very important make sure that that front engages it looks like it's totally engaged reconnect up these motor wires so we've got orange on the bottom yellow in the middle black or blue blue and the fan wire connected fan wire I'll go ahead and connect the blue wire I said black but it's blue and I'll just take that battery you know the one that you didn't see was attached and I just want to make sure that when I turn this on this fan comes on and it does good to go both fans I saw spun up disconnect this and that's it man that's how easy it is to upgrade the big rocks motor mount into the blx do you have to get the no you don't can you get the yeah you can you can get the hot racing one you can also get this one if you get this one the only problem that i see with that which really isn't a problem what's going to have to happen is here's your part number right here here's your hobby quarters part number 24.99 at hobby quarters it's going to give you the whole everything so it's going to give you the motor mount and it's going to give you the case and everything and maybe it's a good idea to just go ahead and replace that case i don't see any different provisions there's no different provision so i was thinking like there was a, a provision with like a hole to be able to get your driver in there there isn't so that's it so anyways this is rc guy garage upgrading my big rock to a bigger better motor mount is this the resolve though is this what's gonna fix this truck it definitely worked on my outcast on my outcast v2 the original the original the outcast v2 slash 2.5 carry or share the same motor mount so is that the upgrade for the big rock i certainly like i want i can't say it like with a hundred percent confidence that it is but my outcast has been beaten to death and it's got a bigger motor in it so my outcast ain't stock it's got a 2000 kv i forget what can size it is but it's it's a good size can man it's a good size can man so yeah i think it's gonna be the fix but the only way to tell is to take this thing out to the skate park and do a couple nose landings or just regular just drive it the way it should be driven those slaps everything about it should should test this motor mount again it's the same day thing that's in the outcast except the outcast has got a bigger like whole bigger setup and everything so again 99% positive that other 1% is the unknown so anyways this is RC guy garage and hopefully yeah dude hopefully you're not having internet issues like I am <laughs>